If I told you that Illustrator CS6 shipped with some new pattern swatches, you might say, well, you know, okay, that's nice. But if I told you there was a way for you to create your own patterns, a way that makes it easy to update and edit your own patterns and have the application of those patterns update on the fly, that might be a little bit more interesting. So what you do is create elements that you want your pattern to be composed of. Select those elements and then from this flyout menu in the pattern options dialog box click make pattern. Now notice right now that we're just in Illustrator's normal workspace um, and there are four swatches in this row. Now as soon as we click make pattern we're thrown into this new pattern editing mode. This is a new type of isolation mode and we have a fifth swatch and that's exactly what this tells us and it tells us that any changes we make while in pattern editing mode are going to be updated. Our swatches can be updated automatically. So you click OK and immediately the pattern's made. Now the only change that um, I've made right now is dim copies to 30% by default. This is at 70. I didn't feel like that gave me enough um, contrast to be able to tell what was the original and what was not. And let's say all the defaults, uh, we just leave them all and say done. Great. Delete our elements off the stage. Drag and hold down option, drag from the center and we drag out an object and fill it with our pattern. And you say, great, but man, I wish this yellow one was a little smaller and the green one was a little higher and further. Well, that's okay. Now, remember what this looks like. We're going to double click on our pattern swatch. Remember, we're going to go into that isolation mode where we're going to um, have the ability to go ahead and move this. Our pattern updates can move this, resize it, whatever we want and whoops didn't mean to make that an oval but you'd say you know I don't like how rigid this is well change it from a grid and there's also this pattern tile tool and you can adjust what's here to pull things closer or further away whoops sorry about that Grab a corner, make things closer, make it overlap. However you want, you can draw out your own rectangles. You can play with this. And there's lots of options here. And I'll let you go ahead and be the one to experiment with those. Um, but now when we click this, remember our old pattern and that what we didn't like? As soon as we click done, this has updated automatically. We're no longer in that same static position that we were in before. That's how this works. It updates effortlessly. This is a very cool time saver tool. And let's see what you can come up with to have some fun with this new way to create patterns in Illustrator.